Huntsville is home to the oldest Masonic Lodge in the state, and while this lodge is the local center for Freemasons, there are also rumors of this lodge, Helion Lodge Number 1, being haunted. Our Nixon Norman got the chance to step inside this historic building and check it out in this week's Haunted Huntsville. If you're from Huntsville or have lived here for a while now, you may have noticed this historic building located in Twickingham. We've been here since 1811, eight years before Alabama became a state in 1819. Beyond dating back to the early 1800s, this building also serves as the gathering place of local Freemasons. We're Helian Lodge number one. Uh, we've got over 230 members active members. The gathering place of Helian Lodge One Freemasons, past, present, and future, indeed. Current worshipful master of this particular lodge, Benny Ledford, tells us of some of the odd mishaps and quite frankly, paranormal activity that's taken place here. We have a women's restroom. As a steward, you come in, prepare meals, and come in one night, do my preparation of the meal, and get ready to leave and guess which light comes on the women's restroom light go cut it off get ready to walk back out again comes back on it's like brother i have to go can you please <laughs> leave the light off and stories like these date way back at the helion lodge past masters and members know of these stories and oftentimes have experienced these mishaps themselves here's a previous master from the 80s Gary, G-A-R-R-Y Smith, S-M-I-T-H. I am a uh, past master of Helium Number One Masonic Lodge. I was master in 1986. He too has a story to tell about the lodge and what he's seen, or more so, what he couldn't see. When I was secretary several years ago, I was up here one afternoon, probably about three, two thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon, sitting here at the desk doing some work, and that door on the right opened. Just kind of swung back. No noise, no nothing. The door opened by itself. You know, and, and it really didn't scare me. I mean, it just, you used to do something like it would make the hair stand up on your back of the neck, back of the neck, but it didn't. I got up, walked outside, walked around, walked down the stairs, kind of running. Never saw anybody and the door just opened by itself. Both Ledford and Smith agree that this activity must be coming from a former Mason and brother of theirs, and that these spirits come in peace, not looking for trouble. With this week's Haunted Huntsville, I'm Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.